Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. We are now in this uh, first game of this October 29, 2022 NBA game day. Uh, this is going to be uh, earlier than the usual. This game would happen at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 6 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. It will be Miami Heat visiting Sacramento Kings. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Right? I'm not sure if it's being heard right there, but it's so r rainy outside. It's so windy. It's so rainy. It's so stormy down here wherever at, um, where I'm at. That's why I'm here at home. So wherever you guys are at, um, especially in the Philippines, I'm not sure if it's you know a bit rainy out there. Just stay at home or uh, at least be careful, all right? Okay, all right, so let's... Uh, Talk about this one. It's going to be Miami Heat with a record of two wins and four losses. Uh, visiting uh, Sacramento. Sacramento Kings, a winless, one of those winless teams um, in the NBA right now with a record of 0 and 4. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the spread is at minus 3.5 and it's given to uh, Miami Heat, the visiting team. All right. I'm not really sure as to why uh, it's, um, it's that low. I mean, if you take a look at it, even record-wise, uh, Miami Heat is way better. I know and I understand Sacramento Kings, um, they are actually having some advantage down here in terms of the home court advantage. But, man, Miami Heat, they already got two wins, and those wins are were actually great. The last game that they had approaching this one uh, was the game against Golden State Warriors. Um, and when, <clears throat> yes, I understand they lost against Golden State, but that's kind of understandable, right? Um, for Sacramento Kings, again, they haven't really... Uh, won a single game, although some of those games really uh, showed uh, what they could do, you know, their talent. But really, the main problem of Sacramento Kings for me, um, number one, uh, would be their turnovers. Um, they have a lot of turnovers. And then number two, the consistency of the help. We all know that uh, their starting five, we, they got the Aaron Fox, they got Herter. You know, they got to they gotta get some help off the bench, and they need that consistently, all right? Now, if we take a look at, so in terms of uh, Chimacholis, in terms of momentum, we can just shrug it off because, again, both teams are coming off losses anyway. Um, in terms of health, I'm looking at the uh, injury list um, for the Miami Heat. Uh, Oladipo is still out. Yurtseven is still out. And then Deadman is listed as a game-time decision. So we still don't know. So three uh, players listed in the in the injury list while for Sacramento Kings there's just one but it's Kevin Herter man uh, one of their best players as of the moment and uh, one of those who are really giving them a lot of numbers listen this game time decision not really sure if uh, he would be suiting up or not we will uh, we won't know until you know until um, uh, the game time starts um, in it's it's hard it's hard to say that uh, in terms of health it'll be in favor of uh, in, it'll be in favor of Sacramento Kings because uh, just because there are three listed for Miami Heat um, I gotta say I gotta say it's even you know it's even worse uh, than Sacramento Kings um, if Herter would be out if you know what I'm saying you know uh, Miami Heat um, they've been kind of used without all the depot and your seven they have they haven't been playing. Uh, for quite some time now uh, when the season started so I think they have already adjusted while Herter I'm not really sure uh, how Sacramento would look like if Herter would not suit up and play for them um, in terms of uh, the, the starting five uh, I'm happy to I'm happy to look at Miami Heat man everyone is actually being pr productive um, Caleb Martin yes he's the only one who ain't averaging a double digit man but you can take a look at uh, Caleb Martin's production he's got um, 8.6 points, 5 rebounds a game for uh, you know for a small forward. That's actually huge. And the, the kind of defense that he brings is actually huge. But for Sacramento Kings, um, if you take a look at the numbers, everyone is actually uh, averaging in double digits. Uh, I'm talking about their starting five, of course, being led by the Aaron Fox, followed by uh, Murray. And then there's uh, Herter, that I'm the, the, the one that I'm talking about earlier, averaging 14 points a game, 3 rebounds, 3 assists a game. So just imagine if Herter will be out. I really wonder uh, how Sacramento would look like against this Miami Heat squad. My pick on this one would be Miami Heat. I think um, the minus 3.5 is really too, you know, uh, too hard to... 
to say no at uh, if you are actually uh, if you are actually wanting to put a bet on this particular game it will be you know it it will be better if you would be choosing Miami Heat I'm not discarding discarding the fact that uh, Sacramento Kings may actually uh, grab their first win right here but again uh, if you take a look at it it will really be wiser if we will pick Miami Heat instead my pick Miami minus 3.5 peace out passe love and God bless.